it's October the 9th today. It's been a strange 24 hours really. I was at Bestorp yesterday and I had 40 Red Admirals go through southwest through that Trentside location. So the sun has finally decided to put an appearance today. It was cloudy early on and it's 11 o'clock just gone. First Red Admiral already gone through at 11.04. This could be the last good day for Red Admirals. I'm not sure about the weather tomorrow, but we'll see what happens. It's an absolutely beautiful day and perfect conditions for butterfly migration again. Well, a comma's just gone through. I've just had two red admirals beforehand. It's on about 11.14, but perfect conditions for butterflies to go through. The sun's not been out that long, I think. It's lovely and warm. Temperature's gonna climb up to the low 20s, definitely, this morning. And so we should get a decent count the Red Admirals. It'll be well into double figures. But I don't think there's another Red Admiral comes now. It's going to appear over the shadow of the trees, climbing up, look, and going over the trees. So the rate is increasing. There's another one just going in front of the camera. It's starting to pick up. So I'd best make a note of these on this glorious October the 9th. The well, movement seems to have halted, halted completely for the moment. And no Red Admirals have gone through for about 15 minutes. I've come to have a look at the meadowland where I stand here eagerly to monitor Red Admiral migration. And the grass and the plants are all growing back now after being cut for hay. And once again, different time of the year though, dandelion flowers are providing a fabulous nectar source. This site, as some of you will have seen on this channel, is completely yellow more or less in spring when the dandelions provide that first flush of flowers and vibrant yellow colouring. And every single dandelion flower in this meadow, or on this hillside here, has something nectarine on it. Whether it's a fly or a hoverfly or bumblebee, every flower has a resident. It's a vitally important late season nectar source. Everything is, every flower late in the year is vitally important to insects. We've just had a Red Admiral through, and that's the first one for over 20 minutes. That could well start off a, another small wave. Surprisingly struggling for Red Admirals, but it could be that a lot of them have been feeding, even though the sun's come out, they, well, they wouldn't have been active earlier on. When the sun comes out, first thing they do is feed and then they start to make a move. And this is probably the time when I come out here actually and start recording Red Admirals. It's now 11.40 so it could well be that the movement really doesn't begin much before half past 11. So we'll see, we'll see whether we get some more from this point, but it, what a vantage point it is, it was fantastic for 
for birds absolutely fantastic this meadowland faces north and so got a completely uninterrupted view of birds coming this way or going across that hoped for movement that I was expecting this morning never really materialized there was no big movement just some dribs and drabs and so I gave it an hour and a half and then went home and to be honest I didn't expect this kind of weather it didn't look as though that the cloud that there was would break it's broken now I just had a, a cluster of records of red admirals going through there was the one at 11.40 but then they've been followed by singles at 11.44, 11.48 and 11.49 we'll see if this kind of rate continues or increases but as I mentioned earlier or at least I think I mentioned earlier I, we're past the peak now of red admiral migration but you're still going to get butterflies moving through on any fine day in October well worth looking out for late moving butterflies and say they are still everywhere that I look in Nottinghamshire driving around I see them driving home there's a one just come low over the grass there as I was driving home from Besthorpe yesterday there were numerous Red Admirals flying south over the road in front of me but numbers will gradually decline probably day on day I doubt whether we'll get any large movements now but it'll be steady movements so I'd best make a note of that last one well 14 red admirals and a single comma through in that first hour and the second hour has started very quiet on average there's probably a butterfly every four or five minutes or so so it shouldn't be long before we get another one but there has been a lull of 20 minutes in that first hour but it's beautifully warm couldn't ask for better conditions it may well be like this again tomorrow but later in the week the weather closes in so any butterflies that want to move including a butterfly there I'll tell you what I thought that might have been you'd never believe me right stop there for a minute because we need to go back a little bit here I wasn't going to put in the clip that you've just seen because 
I didn't think I should really, although I'm 100% certain of what I saw. And if you're a bird watcher or an entomologist or lepidopterist or coleopterist or anything, any kind of ist, if you're one and you see something and you immediately know exactly what it is, but because of its rarity, you're not sure. And you keep looking at it and keep looking at it, but even if you just get a, the briefest of glimpses, less than a second, you instinctively know what something is. Well, the, that impression grew on me during the course of me looking at it with binoculars. I initially thought Red Admiral when I saw the silhouette of it going across here. But when somebody watches something and watches it some more and keeps watching and watching and watching, then you know that it's something good. And what I saw won't be believed. I know that, it won't be officially accepted and that doesn't bother me one little bit to be honest because I know what to see, I always have done. So I'm going to play it again but I'm going to voice over it this time. So I'm doing the piece to camera and then a butterfly catches my eye as it goes or appears to go through, it's about eight feet off the ground and initially when I first see it it's going south -eastly, but then it goes round but I look at the butterfly it has a different flight to Red Admiral there was a lot of gliding in this flight and this wasn't a butterfly that was moving through at all and it gains height comes back round and the more I look at it the more I know exactly what it is but I can't believe it I'm predominantly seeing undersized views and it's the size of a red admiral or a peacock. The underside is relatively dark, but not as dark as a peacock. And the only brief glimpses I got to the upper side showed a large fulvous brown butterfly. I keep watching it, hoping that it would come back nearer. And in the end it sort of gains height a little bit but isn't going anywhere on a migratory level and then I lose sight of it as it drifts off well then shall I reveal exactly what I was looking at it won't be believed, I will send the record in, but it won't be believed for one minute. But that doesn't bother me, it never has. I know what I've seen and that's good enough for me. I don't make up stories and tales about what I've seen. I've never done that. So, the big answer then, what was it? Well, I think and know that it was a large tortoiseshell. I'll let you laugh and fall off your chairs for a minute. I've had experience of large tortoiseshells. I reared a number of butterflies several years ago and I saw the butterfly well enough to rule out all the likely suspects. I knew it wasn't Red Admiral. There's a butterfly I saw several times the fulvous brown upper side. It was a large butterfly the size of a peacock or Red Admiral. The underside was dark but not as dark as a peacock and it came round and I saw it in really good light and although the upper side views were brief there was no doubt in my mind that it was a large tortoiseshell and that's why I stood there gawping at it for as long as I did and it wasn't moving through either so people can either accept it or not but that's what it was I saw it well enough to rule out comma and it was too large for comma anyway and the flight was different the veritable fisherman's tail 
really, I suppose, of the one that got away. But it won't be believed, it'll seem too far-fetched. But I'd stake my life on it. Well, a very quiet start to this second hour. But 14 Red Admirals and a single comma through in the first hour. So, it's pretty much a butterfly every five minutes. But that first hour did include a period of 20 odd minutes with no butterflies going through at all. And we're several minutes into this second hour and there's been no Red Admiral. I didn't expect laws like this. I thought it would be similar to yesterday where there was steady passage, pretty much one every one or two minutes, who best thought. So we're clearly coming to the towards the end of Red Admiral migration, although, as I've said, there will be some elements of migration. Some butterflies will be moving through on any day like this or fine day throughout October and probably into early November as well. So let's see what this second hour brings. Well, two hours gone. There's a red admiral. I might just have caught that actually. Well, that's into what will be a third hour, depending on how long I stop. I had nine red admirals in that hour. And there's a comma that's just gone through. One of four commas now. As we get to thirteen o two, and definite. There's another red admiral just going or coming across slightly south westerly. That one, thirteen o two. There's been a few sort of loose groups of, well, ones and occasionally twos since they moved down to where I normally stand. And I thought I'll just come and stand down here for the last half an hour and see what happens. And I've had a few through, but I say nine is the total for the second hour, making 23. And then we've just had two more Red Admirals making a total, a running total of 25 and four commas. Um, I will give it another quarter of an hour. But there's periods in between, in fact there's another red arrow just coming across the field but distantly there. So we'll see what happens for at least a quarter of an hour see whether there's any sustainable movement but i don't think there will be i think yeah you eat into we get in a couple two or three butterflies and then it goes quiet for another five or so minutes well it's approaching quarter past one this normally would be the peak time and I've got the time and distance it takes for me to get from here to the car just down there to impress me and urge me to stay. Total of 28 Red Admirals have gone through in pretty much two and a quarter hours. So that's indicative of a decline in the numbers moving through. Although there will still be plenty around your local area, I have no doubt about that. But had four commas. The highlight, obviously, large tortoiseshell. Won't be believed, but it was there. And then the surprise, two surprises, 
just recently that flew past me, not my, in a migratory role, but a male brimstone, a beautiful male brimstone, and then five, ten minutes later, a large white, first one I've seen for a few weeks. So, down to the car it is.